stopping by. I am the Un from Mommy, and today I want to come to you to share my spooky craft quickie. Today's quick craft idea is going to be this ghostly hand filled with disgusting, slimy insects. No, not really. This is just a wicked take on your traditional trick-or-treat bags, and it's created using things that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. On an extremely busy street. So the chances of us getting any trick-or-treaters at all are going to be slim to none. However, in the event that someone did stop by, I thought it would be a nice idea to have something to give out. So because of the low probability of us receiving any trick-or-treaters this year, I decided not to go with any of the high-end candy. And for me, the high-end candy means your Snickers, your Twix, your Hershey bars, None of that. This year it's going to be exclusively Dollar Tree goodies. So have you guys decided what you're going to give out for Halloween this year? I know it's still kind of early. We still have, you know, a few weeks to go, but have you decided what you're going to put out for Halloween? Are you going to use the high-end goodie um, candy or are you going to do like me and keep it kind of budget friendly and go with the, uh, the Dollar Tree stuff? I would really love to know that. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to need for our little hands. All right, so I have all of my little goodies here that I have, again, purchased from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing you're going to need is, of course, going to be your candy. Now, in my particular Dollar Tree, I did notice that they had some really nice looking um, assortments of candy. So I was really happy about that. What I did do, however, is try to pick out candy that was, of course, individually wrapped, um, but however, came in little boxes like this or you know bigger round individually wrapped pieces of candy that is going to allow me to get a little bit more bang for my buck i'm going to be able to fill up my little glove um, with not so many pieces of candy but still having it look kind of full but whatever candy you decide to use is up to you however if you are in the dollar tree or whatever store you decide to go to and you come across these little candies right here I think they're called yeah, Smarties. If you have an opportunity to pick up some of these, it will be a good idea to get a few and I'll show you why in just a little bit. So we have our candy. We will need our gloves and these came 10 to a pack in my Dollar Tree and you wanna get the clear kind. So I actually picked up two of those so that's gonna give me 20. You're going to need some bling for your uh, little spooky hand. So these are just um, some spider rings and these came 50 to a pack. So I thought that was good. You're going to need some ribbon and here I have some curling ribbon. This one I already had on hand. I did pick this one up for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, or you can just use some, some ribbon and this actually is just some um, scraps of fabric that I had laying around. There's some extra fabric and I just cut it into ribbons and as you can see it's not really even cut all that neat but that's just going to add to the spooky wicked look of our hands. So we have all of our items. Let's get started. The thing that I did neglect to mention earlier guys is that you will need some twist ties. So just some of your twist ties that you have left over from your little trash bags and, and again any color that you have will be fine. So this is going to go so fast, don't blink, you might miss it. So what we're going to do is just take our glove, kind of stretch it out a little bit, and just start feeling it. We want to put in first though, these little Smarties. These are going to be our fingers. This is why it was so important for you to get these. But you know what? Tootsie Rolls, you know those, the longer Tootsie Rolls, not the Tootsie Roll Pops, but the the little Tootsie Rolls and the wrappers, those would probably work right here too. So if you can't find the Smarties, I'm sure you'll be able to find some Tootsie Rolls. All right, so now we have all of our fingers in place. So now you just want to start filling it up with your candies. I have some sugar babies. Look at there, two boxes of those and it's already just about full. Put some lemon head chews, blow pop, and that's it for that one. That's it, that one's full. So I'm going to take one of my twist ties to 
twist it around my little hand. Kind of tuck the twist tie out, out of the way. All right, see how cute it looks already? And then take either your ribbon, your curling ribbon or whatever ribbon you're going to use and just put a nice little bow. How cute does that look? <laughs> All we have left to do now is add a little bling to the ring finger. So let's see, I have my spider rings here and I think I'll go with the orange spider. So the ring finger I think is right here. Just slide your spider bling on and that is it. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on spooky trick-or-treat bags featuring items that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And so, until next time, ladies, don't be a frumpy mommy. Bye.